It's time to clean the car and make a new interior because it kind of broke. <laughs> What's up you guys? I know I've been away for a little bit. I'm sorry. I was traveling by plane, not with this girl. But the time has come to give a little facelift on the inside because I'm going out again. Woo! And I really want her to be more livable because I think you guys will agree with me. This, hold on. This isn't so livable right now. Even though it's messy, like the table has broke and I no longer have that shelf right there because she kept getting smushed by my chair when I would recline and now she's dead. But it's more than just cleaning up. I need to take that inside. I have to give her, like I said, a little facelift because to be honest, I could use more organization in this van. One thing about van life is that you have to be really particular with where you put things. Cause if you don't, or if you don't have places like hangers or drawers or just any table surface, it's gonna compile on your floor and you're gonna kind of be agitated to be in your van. And then van life is not so much fun because it's just messy. Every time you get in your van after a long day of exploring, you're like, oh my gosh. Okay, back in this little anthill of my things. And I will admit mine is not that bad. It's not the worst case scenario. But when I was in the car last time, I was like, you know what? I could use a little pop cabinet that's like this small. And I could make my own drawer set so I won't have to worry about squishing the table and making it break all the time. And just like installing the table better because look at this. You see those screws right there? That was holding up this whole entire table, which is not light, by the way. But those screws, because- The original thing I put it on broke within a week, and my dad's home. Hi, Hi Dad. Video, yeah. yeah. Nice. So I'm gonna make the measurements, and can you I help me you. out with it? I'll help you on Yay. Okay, that was my dad, obviously. I would love to turn his van into a camper, but I wouldn't be able to go through the drive throughs Think ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out and then show you what it looks like, because I don't think I ever showed it to you clean. One more thing, I had the misconception that I needed iconic clothing or like statement clothing in order to have like a full wardrobe, because you have your basics and you have your nights out and you have your Sunday church dresses. You don't need those. If you really need them, you can go to Goodwill and get them because they're everywhere. But like, when was I gonna ever need these? These boots, no. I'm going to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I don't need boots. And listen, if your space allows it, do it, of course. Don't listen to everything I say if it doesn't apply to you. But like, for future reference, Madison, talking to me, don't bring the gaudy clothes. Damn it. Okay, when the moon hits your eye, like a big pizza pie, that's a broken phone charger. Da 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 da. Oh, it's so nice being here. I haven't been inside the van in a long time. Also, one of my biggest sins I think I've ever made in making this van is making the mistake of having a drunk drawer so accessible. Like, it's right by my head. I don't need a junk drawer at all. Well, I kind of do, but like, it could have been this. This is the only amount of junk I need, okay? Not a literal shelf full of just stuff in case I need it. Let me show you what I have, okay? I have a little fan, uh, a light straw, essential oils, hair oil, a poop shovel, makeup and makeup sponges, and nail polish remover, like, what? Right here? Right here. No. I don't know what I would make that though. Based on the things that are in there, I should just make that my hair and makeup drawer. But I put that in another drawer that's I'll have to currently redo. But come on, it's wasted space. And don't get me started on this big bin underneath here. But it's great because it's such a big drawer. So you can just throw whatever you need in there. But I don't need the stuff. A uh, cooking pan. I have some organization things to do. Okay, but you don't need to see me getting out all my stuff, so uh, I'll be right back. And I lied again about the cleaning, that is. I went ahead and got all of, like the big stuff out. I'm saying that as the biggest thing in my van, AKA the solar panel is still in there. But the things that mattered out of the way. Because I was about to take everything out, but until I get this organizational unit in my car, it doesn't make sense because I will just be putting things in my house and then bringing them back in my van, you catch my drift. They can stay here until I make them a little home. How about that? And I just got my measurements right here. So uh, let's go cut some wood. Here's my lovely piece of wood. Ta -da! Now if Jack and Rose had this baby, huh, they would have lived. 
They would have made it. I would like to think I represent the haphazard creators that don't do things structurally or soundly. If it gets the job done, hey man, good job. <laughs> if it sticks to the wall or put it in a museum type of person. Don't mind me just markering a piece of wood as they did in the olden days. And I don't think you can tell because I'm far away from the camera, but it is hot as H-E double hockey sticks. Hell for the non-censored version. And this is the wit. Guys, <laughs> I want it to be bigger. It needs to hold a lot of stuff. I don't have that much storage in my, my little car, but this will do. She's so small. What is she gonna fit? All right guys, we have the bottom and now we need the tall side. And I don't know if I told you this before, but my dad cuts everything because I don't know what memory or what made me so afraid of saws. I could do a little hand saw, but catch me as a helper for that big guy because big saws just, you cannot make me do it. I refuse. And when I was in college for theater and we had to make sets, I would never, ever, ever do the saw duty. I would do painting, I would assemble, I love a screw gun. And I could cut things, like, <laughs> what the heck? I could do the table saw all right because you just go up, down. But a free hand saw, time out. I'm gone. <laughs> Somebody else come get the bill because I am not paying for that. And it's always nice to buy a big plank of wood like this if you have the room. Of course, if you live in an apartment in New York City, like, what the heck? You can't do that. <laughs> but I love buying more than I need for craft projects because inevitably, if I'm doing one thing, like, you know, I made a little table out of this for my car, I'm probably gonna need it in the future to either fix things up, replace it, or psh, make a whole new thing like we're doing right now. So, all right, I'm gonna measure out the rest of this and I'll catch you back when it's all cut. Because what am I gonna do after this? Show you all the lines I drew? <laughs> you don't need to see that. And just like that, it's time to paint. Woo. Here's Madison's Arts and Crafts. Beautiful. So originally I didn't want to paint any of the wood in my car because I like how wood looks, you know? But the importance of having your car look put together in the sense that it looks like, I don't know. How do I say this? If you have a van like mine where it's a little minivan, you need an optical illusion to make it so that your place doesn't look like a little hobbit hole. Nothing wrong with hobbit holes. I mean, hello, they're pretty popular. But hobbit hole in the sense that it's a hole. <laughs> so not a hobbit hole. Oh, what am I trying to say? After driving around in it for like a month, I realized that, hey man, we need a lot more white in this joint because it's such a small space. And if it's small and dark, it's not only gonna make you feel small, it's gonna make you feel kind of claustrophobic. And I don't have an issue with like small spaces. It's just after a while, it gets to a point where you know you're living in a van and you kind of daydream about, you know, going back and living in an apartment or a house or whatever. One of the big reasons is because of space. So if I can kind of trick my mind a little bit, my mind's eye, if you will, and think that my space is bigger than it actually is, I'm all for it, you know? And white does that. White makes things look bigger than they are. Not really, but you know what I mean. If you want things to look smaller, wear black. If you want things to look bigger, wear white. At least that's what they tell us women. Isn't it fun? Also, if you do not treat your wood in some type of way, and not like heat, but, but like with paint or some type of wood covering. Liquids are going to make the wood warp a little bit. And I'm not talking like a warp tour, I'm talking about warp apart. <laughs> Plus if the wood's a little bit too brown, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell what is dirt and what is not. Like with my tabletop, I have a little bit of grain matter going around town there. And it looks good. But now that I have introduced some coffee stains to it, I'm not taking like mug, like actual splatterings of coffee that I didn't know was there. So I came back to the back of my van at night and the wood absorbed it. So coffee stains in me forever. But that's another benefit of just painting your wood. It's just gonna make it easier to clean things up in case something gets on it. And to be honest, I really don't like white that much because everyone and their mom uses it now for their interior design. It's just a lazy color to me, but also if there's too much white, hey man, that place is gonna look like an insane asylum. Do we want that? No. No, we don't. I don't know if you can see that little coffee stains, but I hate them, especially since they go against the grain. Also, it's just gonna make my van look more put together on the inside because there's already so many textures and patterns in my van. Like the rug I have and the bed covering I have are just patterns and I love patterns. I love a good personality moment, but <sighs> alas, alas. If it's gonna make me feel like I'm living in a slightly bigger, like a little bit bigger van, 
Hey man, I painted it white. My Shutter Island color, the one who flew over the cuckoo's nest color. Just add me to the character list next time, you guys, because uh, that's where I'm headed. Also, I'm just kind of mad at the color white right now, if you could be mad at a color. <laughs> because when I came back home to my once colorful house after college, my mom painted the whole house white. Well, the kitchen and living room, and then everything else turned white after that. And I was like, this place is boring. And she knows that. Hi mom, if you're watching. She watches my video. Number one supporter. Hey. All right, she's finished. Let me show you this. Wow! Nice little table. I don't know how to make drawers, so I have to Google that. Sorry for the noise. This is my brother making stuff over there. But, uh, she's done. It took me many times. Look at this. All these holes. I have to fill that all up. I don't know why I look like an 80s character that just worked to a car shop, but, uh, the car's done, ma'am. <laughs> all right, let me put her in. All right, maybe I should have cleaned all this out, you know? You know what? There you go. Oh, she's so high. <laughs> I think I have made a mistake. Will this be a problem? Huh. Actually, since it's right at my chest, <laughs> as you can tell, as I'm sitting, it's giving me child at the adults table, which I don't like. Okay, now I have this nice little storage space that I'm gonna get into and... It's way too hot as you can tell because I have things to do and I don't like to do them sweaty. Especially if I'm not using any energy. It's just hot. I like to avoid the hotness. Back to the shop for this one, woo! Another reason why it can't be so tall is because when my chair moves back, like reclines, it catches the top of it, but if it's a little lower, it wouldn't really affect it that much, and that also means I have to cut off a little bit of my foam mattress, which is okay. It's just ugh, making it all work together. Alright. Thank you. Are they screwing her in? She's a whole new table. She's just shorter, so <laughs> let's fit her in again in the car. Oh, oh, she looks good. Oh, she looks good. All right, she's looking much better. Okay, now it's the moment of truth. Okay, uh oh, she's a little bit shorter. What? The never ending struggle to like try to find the perfect height for this beauty. It's okay though. Like, I think this was around the same size that my other, where is the light? I think this is around the same size my other thing was at. It's just like, you want it to be perfect because you know once you're gone, this is how it's gonna be. But she's nice. I mean, look, the white is a very nice color, I will say. It does make me feel very much that I am in an apartment. Unless uh, I took this piece of driftwood and made it into a table and... I'm proud. I can't delay this video any longer. I've already missed my deadline because I just haven't had time to put things together. And then when I do, guys, it is so hot. It is so gosh darn hot that I can only work in like 30 to an hour increments. And I can get a lot done in that time, but at the same time, I'm kind of like catching my breath. So I'm gonna end this video here because I am, oh guys, I am just sticky McStickers with this sweat. I just took a shower. I hope you enjoy all these costume changes too because this was the span of three days making this monstrosity because it is just so hot in Florida. Oh, hi Santa. It is so hot in Florida. <laughs> I don't know why all the kids today just make that little angle. Hey guys, what's going on? If anything, I hope you were entertained for just a smidgen. And let me know where I should stop by in the north because I think I'm going on a little trip up in the fall, AKA a few weeks. So drop a cool location because I have never experienced a proper fall because I live in Florida <laughs> where it's green all the time. I would love to see some rich color changes and just cool nature spots. So share with the group, share with the class because we don't gatekeep. If you tell me, I'm telling everyone. <laughs> Except with promises. If I promise not to tell, hey man, I'm a gatekeeper then. Anyways, 
I'm gonna go inside before I melt like the Wicked Witch of the West. All right, peace guys. Bye Santa, we'll see you soon I guess, but I'm going inside, bye.